Thanks for that, Lauren. Let's get right to a developing story we're following in Northwest Jacksonville at this hour. Just a heart breaking situation. Police are investigating the shooting death of a six year old boy. This happened at about 730 last night at the home of his caretaker. Now the family of the boy who died from a gunshot wound tells First Coast News he accidentally shot and killed himself. His uncle shared that his name was Danny Wade the third and he's had custody for the child for about four years now. Leah Shields talked with him right out outside of the home today. Family of six year old Danny Wade the third says what happened here was a tragic accident when a family friend had a gun in the home and didn't lock it up. Please make sure the guns are locked away in a safe and with nothing in the, in the chamber. Just please. I, I wouldn't want no other family to go through this. Zachary Williams has custody of his nephew Danny. He says he was asleep when the boy fired the gun. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says the boy had one gunshot wound in the head. He died at the home around 7.30 Tuesday night. Williams believes the gun belonged to a family friend who's staying um, with them. Nobody knew he had a gun, but I guess he didn't have it put up. He was a regular six-year-old, like to play, very lovable. JSO know. says they detained seven people Tuesday night for questioning and all have cooperated with the investigation. Williams says he does not think anyone should be charged because it was an accident. JSO is currently considering this an undetermined death. In Dinsmore, Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side. A 